Spell Slinger, a Witches of Galderheim bonus short story. Rune stuffed his hands into his jeans pockets and stomped down the street, his shoulders hunched. A clump of dandelions hugging the white picket fence leapt out at him. Their squeaky little growls and slashing petals pulled a grin from the eleven-year-old warlock for a moment, until he remembered he was in a bad mood. He punted the attacking flowers with a transforming spell, turning them into a tumbleweed rolling along the street. Rune sprinted after it and gave it a kick with a Beckham bend. The shrub careened out of control over a picket fence and into a yard. Lilac, a witch who lived in the cottage, stepped out on her porch. Rune, get that thing out of my garden. Yes'm. Rune felt his cheeks reddened. He pulled out his wand and flicked it toward the offending bush. The shrub shook, then hopped in the air. When it landed, it sunk its brand new roots into the ground on the edge of lilac's koi pond. The rosebuds adorning the stems burst into full bloom, and a few petals dropped and floated on the water. Lilac smiled. Congratulations, Rune. You charmed your way out of a telling off. The witch walked back into her home. Rune continued on his way, his shoulders settling, a frown tugging the corners of his mouth back down. His friend Dalton had joined the wolf pack and seemed to forget that Rune was his best bud. The wolf pack wasn't exactly condoned in the witch community, but as long as the transformed boys didn't actually eat anybody, the warlocks turned a blind eye. Rune had promised his mother and aunt that he'd not get involved in the group. As a half-vampire, the only vampire, he already had plenty to worry about without also taking on a wolf form. The boys' play sometimes drew blood. No way could Rune keep from going mega-vampire at the sight of blood. It sucked. Since he wouldn't join the pack, they all stopped letting him hang out with them. Now he was stuck in the not-so-cool group to which his older half-sister already belonged. She couldn't cast a spell that didn't blow up in her face, and since Rune couldn't join the other boys in the pack, he felt like an outcast. His mind pinged, and the word outlaw blazed in his head. Yeah, that's what he'd do. Spell up a place of his very own. To heck with Dalton and those other boys turning themselves into werewolves. He'd become an outlaw, a real gunslinger. Or how about a spell slinger? That had a nice ring to it. That's it. He'd go Old West, Old U.S. West. He'd watched about a zillion westerns, so he figured he could conjure a proper Old West town and he'd be... What? The leader of a bandit gang? The sheriff of a little town taking on the bad guys. Yeah, he'd be the hero.